All right, guys, I'm finally back. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but we've got a pretty good one today. Um, so for today, we're gonna build this K2083 and try to make the same amount of power as the Type S motor. So if you're like me, you're on a budget, and I try to get the most out of my money. And you still want a K swap, but you don't have a lot of money. This is a great option. I picked this motor up for $350. Um, the reason being though is the K20A3 only makes 160 horsepower. When you compare it to its relative, the K20A2 that makes 200 horsepower, it's a pretty significant difference. But when you look at the price difference, that's a pretty significant difference as well. <clears throat> With that, uh, you have a few options. We're going to talk about how to make the same amount of power as a Type S K20A2 out of your K20A3 and still spend less money than if you were to buy the Type S motor up front. Okay guys, so here's all the parts you're going to need in order to make K20A2 power out of your K20A3 engine. So what I have, I also have this kind of separate. You have two options here. If you want to make close to K20A2 power, you can stick with the stuff that's on this side. What I have here is a set of K20A2 camshafts. And then in front of it are K20A3 exhaust rockers. What these are for is a VTEC killer setup. So with these, you put these on the intake side, even though they're exhaust rockers, you put these rockers on the intake side and they will ride on the VTEC lobe of the camshaft all the time. That's what allows you to put these K20A2 cams inside of your K20A3 engine. With that, you will have a rather lumpy idle. Uh, it'll have a really cool lope to it. Um, and you won't have VTEC, but you will still make close to the same amount of power as a K20A2 engine. But to take that a step further, what I have over here is a set of nip and racing K20A2 pistons. Other three are still in the box, obviously, but. Um, these are going to bring our compression ratio up to the same as a K20A2 engine. And between those two components, you can end up making the same amount, close to, if not the same amount of power, and even possibly more power than a K20A2 engine. So for these camshafts, I paid $98 shipped, um, which you could probably find cheaper if you look hard enough. For these brand new exhaust rockers, these are brand new from Honda. I paid $112 shipped. Uh, I paid $186 for these pistons. And the only other component I would recommend that's not on this table is a set of valve springs. Uh, you can get a set of Brian Cryer valve springs for $150 for the K20A3 engine. Um, so if you decide to stick with just the bolt-on section of stuff, including the cost of the engine, that again, I got that K20A3 for $350 you will end up at about $710 invested, which is still a pretty good bargain for the amount of power you'll make um, going K-series. Um, so if you decide to go with the pistons as well, you're gonna end up at about $895 invested into this build, which is still significantly cheaper than buying a K20A2 engine. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the process of putting all this stuff in and then I'm going to show you the results. Remember, stock that makes 160 horsepower, and we're trying to shoot for 200 plus horsepower out of this motor. Um, I'm also going to show you the, compa the cost comparison of a K20A2 swap versus going this route, and uh, what your savings could be. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to kind of give you an introduction to the build and what kind of parts we're going to be putting in this motor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a parts list in the description and try to put as many links to the parts as I can. Um, in the next video, we're going to be tearing this down and hopefully getting the short block built up. And then I'll show you guys how to put together the cylinder head with the K20A2 pistons, or I'm sorry, K20A2 camshafts as well. Um, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope the audio in this video. <laughs> It is a lot better than it has been in my previous videos, and thank you for watching.